it's me Andy from Bits Gaming. Hope you're all having a great day. Today's video we have a new CPU cooler from Arctic. Frigs of 34 and a duo. So it's got two fans and it's in white. Um, we're doing installation on an Intel and an AMD uh, build. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, it's got some nice nice setup um, and impressive uh, settings I should put up on the screen in a second so you can see but yeah it's nice and compact um, and I think it do pretty well okay let's have a look let's open her up unbox the screws and the fittings the fan itself nice and white um, first time I've had a white fan, looks, looks pretty good. Comes with two 120mm fans, that's why it's got a duo. It looks very similar uh, to a, um, a Cooler Master fan. Okay, so I've got everything out of the box. So you can see here's a nice fan, nice and white and grey. Not bad at all, really. Um, yeah, 220 mil fans on it. Nice cooler down the middle. Nice and light. It's not particularly heavy. Uh, very light. So here we've got the fittings. Now, there's three versions of these uh, little clips. Uh, well, standoffs. Now, the solid one is for 1700 and 1200. There's one there with one light line going around it. That's for AMD systems and for AM5. And you've got that one with two lines on it. It's for Intel 2066. And it's only a bit old now. You probably won't be using that for that. But just in case you do, that's for those. Everything else is the same. Now, not quite sure. We have got four different, no, sorry, three different versions of washers, one metal, one rubber, and one sticky one. Now they actually tell you to use a sticky one on the Intel one, and it doesn't mention anything about the other two anywhere in the manual. So I think there's an option there. I won't use a sticky one for this uh, test setup, because I actually want to use a fan for myself somewhere <laughs> on a build. So uh, we keep away from the stick one, we just put in the uh, metal washer for the time being. Yeah, everything else is used on all the sockets. Now when you use this, this back plate, um, it looks literally flat, this back plate, but it's not. It's actually, it's flat and raises high and goes down. Um, the raised bit is a bit what you want facing your motherboard. So yeah, don't forget. Um, and on an AMD system, you don't need that. You use the, the AMD uh, backplate what is just supplied with your motherboard. It's only for basically Intel setup. Everything else is the same. Okay, let's zoom into the board and get fit in. First thing we've got to do is take the fans off. Otherwise we've got no chance at all installing. Okay, I won't take the, uh, the plastic off for this demonstration because obviously I ain't gonna fit it to this board. Maybe that way. You've got the Arctic then facing down where you can see the name tag. Okay. Okay, so that's how it goes on. Back plate, as I said, uh, the pot that sticks out in the middle goes towards the ball. So it should look like uh, that. You can see that right? And those, make sure these rubber uh, seals are under that flange. Then that then goes.
under your mobile like so. You get one of these uh, standoffs. Now, there are different ones. You've got a coarse thread, one end, and one's got a fine thread. So make sure you get the right run. Don't try and force it. So then you get the standoffs uh, with the washers underneath, like so. Actually, these ones are not the same as the AM4 ones. The threads on these ones are both the same. Uh, so it doesn't matter what way you put these up. And the AM4 and the 26.6 as a coarse and a fine thread. So yeah, so, so far, so good. We grab the fan. Okay, you add these to the fan. So we've got a screw in there, a little silver screw that comes, each one of those, and they actually face outwards. like so now you know you got these um, for the 1700 uh, socket screw goes in the middle yeah there's three spots 1700 goes in the middle And that should just slot on like so. If you've done it correct, I've got Arctic going that way. Same label as Asus. And then yeah, you finish off with these uh, thumb screws. Yeah. Tighten the fan down. Now obviously I've not pasted it because as I said, um, I might be using this fan somewhere else, so there's no point wasting the paste. When you do the front thumb screws up, make sure you go at a crossways. So, put the fans back on. So I do like the idea where these ones are actually hooked in on the fan, uh, a lot like the others where you just got to put them in the holes um, and hopefully they don't fall out. Uh, I quite like that, makes life a lot easier. Uh, so, then we have this one um, blown outwards, so this one's back front. There it is, at the end of the day, and you just got to connect the power cables uh, one comes with a two sockets so you, you can daisy chain them and there it goes looks quite nice yeah this one's not particularly high fan um, and it does give you enough room to get a DDR socket in there uh, in the side so you should be okay it should clear it's quite high um, that fan is quite high, can you see there? It's quite high at the end of the day for your motherboard. So yeah, there we go. I will put this, the, uh, the height of that on the screen in a second. So yeah, there we go.